Namaste. Hey guys. I know everybody's anxiously waiting uh, to hear about our trip up to Mount Rainier. Um, it was amazing. We had a fantastic time. Um, and uh, I don't know. Okay, so this is this is difficult for me because we spent four days up there. What was supposed to be a two-day trip turned into a four-day trip. The reason why is because I had so much happen while we were up there that I, I, there's no way I can fit it all into one video. So there's going to be a few. Um, but the first thing I want to say right off the bat is I 100% believe that Oakley is up there in that mountain. I originally thought that she was actually in the mountain, like in the trees, in the mountain, um, up on the mountain. Um, but once I got there and we went and visited several different places, I, um, I, and I took pictures of everywhere and I got tons of orbs in my pictures, tons. Um, I'll add all those in the video so that you guys can see them. Um, but once I got up there, um, the first day, first of all, the snow was like this deep. So I wasn't able to access a lot of the areas that I had originally intended to go into. Um, a lot of stuff was gated off. And like I said, the snow was ridiculous. Um, I talked to the lady that, that runs the little lobby area um, at the lodge where we stayed. And she said that this is like a massive amount of snow for this time of year for up there that they had a huge amount of snow dumped and then it froze so it's not melting off like um, usual but one thing is for sure it has filled up the lake that is at the foothills of the mountain it's called Alder Lake is is so full right now and there's a dam there Alder Lake Dam and uh, the the water is at the top like at the top of the dam um super high right now and um uh, gosh there's so much so the first day we went up there we tried to go to a place called paradise which is inside of the of mount rainier's national state park um quick thing something really cool we went to go pay to get in the entrance at the park and the guy at the little booth noticed that I had a placard hanging in on our rearview mirror. Um, and he asked if someone in the car was permanently disabled, which I said, yeah, that would be me. I have MS. And he said, well, you uh, qualify for a free lifetime pass. So I was able to fill out a little bit of paperwork. We, I got a free lifetime pass to go up there, which to me what right away was a sign. On this pass that they gave me, there is a, a picture of a freaking owl, an owl. And you guys know the owl is my spirit totem. So right away, I thought this pass, there's an owl on it. It means she's up here in this, in this area. And we did walk through all the snow and walk through all the pathways and I was trying to get a feel for her. And all the while, as soon as I started out on this this trip but literally before we left my town I could feel Oakley's connection I could feel her with me I could feel I was shaking I felt extremely anxious um, I felt just like I, I can't wait to get there I can't wait to get there like feeling um, I, normally I would enjoy the process and the trip up and we would have stopped and looked at all the lookouts and but for some reason I just felt this ang anxious anxious feeling of um, I just got to get up there and once I was up there that feeling kind of subsided but it returned multiple times it depending on depending on where we were so um, I'm just going to start out with um, I don't want these videos to go too long because then people won't watch them. So I'm going to try to keep them at like 20 minutes a piece. And so I'm watching the time right now. So I'll start out with day one. Day one, we first thing right away when we went up there, we went to find our lodge that we were staying at called Whitaker's Bunk, Whitaker's Bunk House Lodge. And the, because we wanted to go unpack our stuff, get settled, have something to eat, and then go off on our... Um, adventure so we pull into this lodge beautiful gorgeous place 
And right away, there's a sign hanging on the side of the lodge, and I'll show that picture too, that said, Namaste, literally. I was like, wow. Like, how do I start all my videos? Namaste. What do I say to everybody? Namaste. I felt so validated by that. Then, after we unloaded into our, our little cabin area, which was amazing, beautiful, nice, nice, nice room that we had, um, I decided to take my little dog to go potty before we headed out on our adventure. I didn't know how long he was going to need to be in the car or what was going to happen. So I decided to take him potty first. And I walked up behind the lodge and there was a round building, a big round building. I think it's called a yurt or something like that. In the windows of this building, I could see that this building is used for spiritual practices of some sort. So I would, <laughs> it was this, the weirdest thing. There, this round building, it looks like maybe it was maybe possibly just finished being constructed. I don't know, but there was two two by fours sitting up against this building um, close to the entrance doorway, which by the way, I could not go inside because I ended up finding out that it this place is a, a something that they rent out to people to do yoga and different things like that. Uh, meditation and uh, different things like that. It's, it's a spiritual retreat basically, which shook me because I can't believe that not knowing that I picked that spot. Of all the places up there, I picked that spot. So, uh, but as I was walking, I, w I did walk up and look in the windows and check it out. I was super drawn, obviously, to this place. Um, and as I, I came walking up, one of those two by fours fell over and landed on the ground. It really freaked me out at first because I'm like, what was that? And I heard it, but I didn't see it, but I heard it. Um, once I seen the two by four laying on the ground and the other one still standing up against the building, I realized that it had fallen over. Mind you, there was no wind at all while we were up there. It was a beautiful, sunny, gorgeous weather. Very cold, but beautiful, gorgeous weather the whole time that we were there. Very little wind. So, because that's the first thing that comes to your mind, well, it was blown over by the wind, but there was no wind. So, that was very strange and right away gave me the feeling um, that I was on the right track. Um, other thing, so I don't know if you guys remember the drawings that I did for Oakley and one of the drawings I did was of a mountain and trees and flowers. Um, I was very specific about the two different kinds of trees that I, I had drawn. <sighs> I saw those trees everywhere up there. Two different major kinds of trees, exactly how I saw them, exactly how I drew them. And I'll, I'll show some of that video in here too. Um, I'm, it's really hard because I have a ton of video, but I've got to go through all of it because a lot of it's just extra and you guys aren't going to want to watch every minute of it. I want to try to focus on the parts of the trip that pertained to Oakley more than anything. So another thing I noticed what at right away at this lodge we're staying at is that there was three trees with Christmas lights on them that were in the in the yard outside of where we had like these double doors to go into our room and a little patio with the table and chairs right there to sit outside. Way too cold to do that but we had it was there and and from that spot standing out, you could see three trees with Christmas lights on them. I've dreamt about those trees. I've dreamt about those trees. I didn't understand what they meant because they were all lit up with Christmas lights. And when Oakley came up missing, it was not in the wintertime. It wasn't. So that immediately gave me chills. Um, I felt like that was purposely something that was showed in my head that that's where I needed to be. So the lodge that we stayed in was five miles from the mountain, the National Park mountain entrance, park mm -hmm. entrance, one way, and then five miles away from Alder Lake, the other way. We didn't go to Alder Lake until this third day that we were there. Um, I, was, I was so drawn to that mountain and trying to get up into those areas. 
I did a ton of readings. I, I did readings with my rods. I did pendulum readings. I did card readings. I did a ton of readings and I got a lot of spirit confirmation that I was there. I also did a spirit box reading while I was up there and I shit you not, the word Mount Rainier came up on my spirit box. I have a picture of it. I'll put it in. That blew my mind. So there's no doubt in my mind that she's up there. And for the first couple days, we wandered around, um, went into all the little shops, and I just was kind of getting a feel for the place. And I didn't feel like I um, had connected enough. So we decided to go ahead and stay uh, for two more days. And luckily enough, they had there it's off season so there was really nobody else in the lodge i think maybe one other family was in the lodge but us so we have full reign on the place and i was able to spend a lot of time out there um walking around and talking to oakley and asking for oakley to show me where you're at baby show me where you're at i'm here i'm gonna help you i'm here to help you show me where you're at and i tried to listen very closely to those things she was showing me and I, all she kept showing me over and over again was was water was a body of water yes the trees yes the rocks and a body of water so the third day that we were up there um i had decided that i asked the lodge manager if there was a large body of water near um, how close the closest large body of water was. And she said it was Alder Lake, which we had passed on our way up there. So um, we decided to go to Alder Lake. And the minute I stepped out of the car and walked up to the boat launch, I heard Oakley screaming in my head, You found me, you found me. I'm sorry, I'm shaking. I took a bunch of pictures around that area and you can see the orbs. I, I wish there was some way to find out if Oakley's favorite color was green because the orbs that show up in most of my pictures are green. And in one of my pictures, there's a green star that is literally smack dab in the middle of the photo it is where the star shows up in the photo is up inside some trees. Um, you can see a building down below it, but you can tell that there was nothing but sky behind these trees where this big green star showed up. And I'll put that picture in here. I, I, I'm almost at a loss for words because there's so much going through my mind about what happened and while I was up there, I was visited by Harmony as well while I was up there and Summer. I believe the three of them were together with me most of the time I was up there. And I have a picture with three orbs, um, two green ones and a white one. Two of them were real close to each other and one of them was off a little bit. Um, same green orbs in, in most of my pictures. I got pictures with, you can see the spirit in, in one of my pictures. You, I had a lot of spirit activity in my pictures. Um, Oakley showed up over and over again in my readings um, that she's in water. And which is something I didn't quite get. I mean, I had, I got it, but I didn't quite get it um, in the beginning of my uh, research and my passion I have about this case. In my first video, I never mentioned a word about water. I didn't get water at first. But once I got up there, I knew that I had to find this body of water that she kept showing me. And as soon as we pulled into the Alder Lake boat launch parking area, I knew I was in the right place. I knew. I knew like I know what my name is. I knew. There's a huge dam there. And I'll put the pictures in. It was hard. Those pictures were hard to get because it was it was gated off behind a big fence. And there was, it was closed for the season. Um, but there is a pathway that goes across this dam from one side 
all the way across this dam to an islandy area, um, which that's the only access to that, that area. And that's where I, I stared and stared. I was so pulled and so pulled towards that area, but I couldn't go over there. So we've decided that we are going to go ahead and do another trip. Um, because I have a lifetime pass, we can do lots of trips. But I'm feeling like I need to uh, go back during the springtime when the water levels go down in that lake. Because I feel like in the late spring, there's a very good possibility that Oakley's body is going to surface. There is a family tie to that area. There's a little town called Elby. It's just a couple miles away from the mountain, five miles from the mountain. Um, I'm sorry, seven miles from the mountain. Um, there are family ties to that town for, for Oakley. Um, I'm not 100% sure who the family ties are. I was given some information that they that it's possibly a grandmother or a great-grandmother who owned a little shop up there where she sold her jams and things like that. Totally, I could see that. Totally, I could see that. Everything's closed down right now. There's, there's very little open up there. Not one restaurant. Um, we ended up spending $30 on snack food at the only little tiny store that they had in the town um, because it is everything was closed down. So it, it was a great trip. It, we had a lot of fun. Uh, my husband and I got to spend some quality time together that we really needed. And it served two purposes. It served that purpose. And, and you know, it's fun to kind of step out of your life every once in a while. But that was a spirit-driven trip for me, hugely. And um, I'm, I'm feeling overwhelmed on how I'm going to get all this information out clearly. And so this video is just basically going to be this for now. I'm just going, there's, there's more coming. Um, there's definitely more coming. I have so much to talk about. I, I have taken notes. Um, I took notes for the different days that we were there. Of course, I forgot to bring a notebook with me. I had everything else, my crystals, my cards, my rods, my heart. Um, I, I, um, I brought everything with me when I forgot a notebook. So I was able to find one in the little store I told you about and was able to um, write down lots and lots of notes of different things that um, I was getting and feeling and hearing and seeing while I was up there. Um, in not this video, but in one of the coming videos, I'm going to show you guys something absolutely amazing. It was at three o'clock in the morning. I, the third night we were there, I could not sleep. I could not sleep. I, I felt spirit energy so intensely around me that I could not sleep. And I was sitting at the table. I was tr meditating, trying to see if I could connect with whoever this spirit activity was. Because you never know when you stay in a place like that, whose energy that's trying to connect with you. But I felt Oakley. But I also felt other energies. So I wasn't sure. And I just decided to record. I was sitting in the silence. My husband was over on the bed sleeping and I decided to record and I got the most amazing spirit activity on video. Literally, I was seeing it in real time while I was videoing it. You see me looking around in the video, around in the room, um, trying to figure out where this, this energy was, like if I could see it. and. And I was asking in my head, show yourself to me. Where are you? I can feel you. Where are you? I can feel you. And just about that time, I, she showed herself to me. She was literally floating above my husband. He, where he was in the bed, you could see her floating above his body, moving around and on around. You could, and then you could see her go right up into the ceiling. And I got it on camera. I can't believe that happened. And I will show that video. It's only one minute long, I think. Um, but I will show that video. I'm not sure if I'll tag it on this one or the next one. Um, right now, I'm just kind of checking in with you guys, letting you know that the trip went fantastic. Um, I absolutely got a lot of answers that I needed up there. Um, I found some of the most beautiful, beautiful country up there and literally felt like I was in heaven. 
in amongst all of the trees and all the nature and the air up there is amazing. The air, literally you can smell the trees, you can smell the land, you can smell it up there. I live in the city, all you smell is people's emissions. It's an amazing place. Absolutely just a gigantic place in my heart just grew for this place. Not just because I was spirit driven there, but because I am a nature freak and it was a blast. I did feel um, some disappointment because I wasn't able to go as many places as I wanted to and see as much as I wanted to. I didn't get to hit some of the spots that I had intended on hitting because of the snow. So um, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and, and cut this video off. I'm just going to upload what I've just said. Um, I'm coming back with another video. I'm working on the editing portion. It is time consuming. I'll tell you that. And um, the other thing I wanted to say real quickly is I, I wanted to check in with you guys, let you know that I did um, go to my appointment with my podiatrist, like I had stated in one of my last videos that I was going to be doing that. And so I, that took up all day for me. And so, you know, I had got home, unpacked, um, got settled, and then immediately had to spend the whole day um, driving and going to the doctor. So I haven't had a chance to finish my editing. I'm, I'm about halfway through it. So I'm not going to really pin that much on to this video <clears throat> um, because I just want to send this out to you guys and not have to worry about editing this one. Um, just let you guys know that the trip was, in my heart, an absolute success. I got the answers. Um, Oakley is in that lake. Um, I, I feel like she's trapped underneath of some kind of debris, logs, sticks, something like that. Um, possibly inside of something, but trapped underneath. And, because I do get the feeling of being, you know, stuck. And um, it's so much, you guys. So much. I, I, this is hard. This is a hard thing to do. And it's heartbreaking. But it's exciting at the same time because... The minute I stepped out of my car and walked up to the edge of that water, I heard her. I heard her. She said, you found me. You found me. Crystal, you found me. Okay, guys. There's so much more to come. I absolutely know I was led up to that mountain for a reason. I drew the pictures I drew for a reason. But as intuitive people, we don't always get the answers so clearly. And we get clues and messages that we don't understand until they do. And it's an amazing thing and I'm so grateful to the divine for giving me the ability to do this. I used to hate it. I used to hate it so bad. But now I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful because the feeling I get, the feeling that spirit gives me when uh, I write about something or I found what they led me to is priceless. It's priceless. Okay. I'm trying not to mess up my makeup. <laughs> I have another video to do probably between this one and the next Oakley video. I need to do a healing video for um, a beautiful friend of mine on here who is very sick and struggling um, with the CVID right now. I believe that's what's going on with her. Um, and, and her channel is called A Comeback, and her name is Kim. And um, I just wanted everybody to please pray for my friend Kim, um, A Comeback. Uh, Kim Magical, she calls herself. Uh, she's struggling right now with her health. And... Um, she needs our prayers. She, so many people are having struggling with their health right now. Um, I, I want to fix them all. I want to heal them all. I wish I could do that, but I do my best. And 
please bear with me and be patient with me as I try to get all this information out with this boots on the ground trip I took. It's so much. And uh, I am not good at this. I am not good at this. This video thing, this... I, I wish I could just take everything that's in my head and plop it out there for you guys. Um, but it's going to take me a little bit of time and I appreciate your patience and I love you guys and thank you so much for all your prayers um, that you guys were doing for me as I was up there because it helped. It helped a lot and I felt them and um, I appreciate the support that I get from you guys. Um, I, I believe that God put me in a position where I could go up there for a reason. And I do believe that I found her. Um, I want to say this is alleged for entertainment purposes only, but it's really not. Because it's not a legend. I was there. I was there. I was there. All right, guys. I'll be back. Love you.